Hello everyone, welcome back to Maelstrom Gaming. My name is Malachi Gardner. Today, I am very excited to unbox a uh, Deck of Wonders. So the Kickstarter just came in today, and so I'm going to take a look at it. I've opened up the box, uh, just, you know, just cutting the tape on top, but I haven't gone past and looked at really anything inside. So, let's go ahead and tape this off. Uh, open this up. We see um, it was packaged and shipped by Fun Again Logistics. Um, so, yeah, they are... I believe going out of business, so good they were able to get this before that happens. So we have our core game here, um, and then we have some card sleeves. Let's not drop that. So looks like we have two max card sleeves. Should be enough. And then we have our stitched playmats. Take a look at this first. So nice. Uh, stitching on the edges there. I like that a lot and I am really pleased with how this actually turned out uh, This is the, um, the troll nest and I really appreciate I really like this, uh, this art here uh, It's very beautiful by Lauren Brown and uh, I think this turned out really nice. The yeah, colors are nice and uh, nice and vibrant there and I really like the look of it especially with the black stitching uh, with the green, I think it looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and get that out there. But um, yeah, so I really like this play map. Excited to use that. Uh, we have these card sleeves, uh, which is uh, from Sleeve Kings. So I have not used them before. So we'll see how those turn out. And then box here. So it's um, you yeah, know not a huge, not a huge box, but uh, you know it's just really a bunch of cards. So. Let's uh, take a look at this. So, uh, Can You Outplay Fate? Deck of Wonders is a solo and co-op tactical card game where fate herself has stacked the, get the deck against you. It captures the feel of classic TCGs, but in a solitaire format that evolves as you play. In Deck of Wonders, you'll summon minions, cast spells, and battle villains as you try to stand at one step ahead of fate. It's for one to two players, ages 13 and up, about 15 minutes per game, and it is a legacy campaign. So, uh, pretty cool, designed by Dennis Furia, illustrated by Lauren Brown. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this open. I really do like the, uh, the box size here, it's nice and small, uh, not going to take up too much shelf space, which is good. You know, we have a lot of these smaller sized games that still end up in huge boxes and <laughs> take up a ton of space, so this is not, uh, not that way. Probably won't be too much air in here. Okay, so, ooh, ooh, this is cool. Have a nice map in the lid there. That is very neat. A nice map of the world of Deck of Wonders. We have our rule book. And so it looks like we have uh, table contents, going through the story, setting up the game, and uh, some different you know, easier to miss rules and stuff. So all told, we're at looking at 27 pages here. Um, so yeah, it's not the most. So yes, yeah, should be not too bad of a read there. Uh, next up, we have some of these uh, upgrade stickers. So you have plus one health, uh, player health, uh, player strength, player draw, player cost, minus one villain health, minus one villain strength, minus one villain draw. And there's some set unlock stickers here, and it says see rule book page 20 for details on that. So, some little stickers there. Uh, the complete story narration. There is a foreteller narration uh, that you can get the app. Um, I believe it's, it's free if you back the campaign, but uh, if not, I believe you can purchase it on their website. Okay, so then we have this. And like I said, you know, not too much air in here. Uh, first, we have this uh, box here, a deck box here. Um, and then we have three of these villains here. Uh, so we have Byzantius, the villain pack, um, for saying stop, open this pack only when you meet the following conditions. So you have to defeat Aurora's, Aurora's fainted form, uh, which is her right here, and you have to defeat Colin's fainted form before taking her on. So you're going to take the villains on in this order, and they each have their own cards that come with them. Um, oh, okay, so nice in-depth and Nice uh, labels here. So we have the core collection. Uh, so that's what this is, I assume. Uh, the villain cards, and then these, which are the different uh, legacy packs. So we have several of these: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Uh, looks like we have three per villain. Um, so three for colon, three, yeah, three for each. So we have three for each villain. And so they will each have their own ways of unlocking them. So unexpected allies. Um, allies, you have opened this pack only when you meet the following conditions. Have two force trolls ready on the player's side at the same time. Uh, defeat colon with ten or more than ten health remaining. Or uh, defeat colon while using cards from both colons, tantrum, and unexpected allies legacy pack. So uh, some cool stuff you'll be able to unlock there, getting more cards and things added to the decks. Uh, of course, not going to open these up. Um, when, you know, do not spoil anything. Uh, then we have the core cards here, which is these. So we have the core set, opens pack when instructed uh, as you set up your first game. So these are the, the basic cards you'll get uh, to start off your unlocked collections. Okay, so get that off. And wow, these uh, have some really nice linen finish, nice thickness here. Um, very shiny from the linen finish, I apologize for that. Uh, but yes, very nice feeling. Uh, we have the Deck of Wonders Health Tracker um, for the players. So you can, uh, you know, you start off 30 health and you can track your health using the card here. Uh, of course, there's no reason why you couldn't get some dice or a dial or something like that, which is probably what I'll end up doing. All right, then we have some of our cards here. So we have the Pixie Calvary. Um, which, uh, uh, of course, every side has two sides. This is the evil side up top there, and then the hero side. So, you know, with Deck of Wonders, you have a common deck of cards you're drawing from. Instead of, you know, something like Marvel Champions or the Lord of the Rings LCG, where you and your opponent, uh, the automated opponent, will each be drawn from your own deck of cards. In this game, uh, both sides will be drawn from the same deck of wonders, and based off of who draws it, uh, you will you know, you will turn the card to the correct side. And so if the enemy draws it, you'll play this side. If the player draws it, you'll play this side. So um, you'll have different you'll have different stats and abilities uh, based off of who played it. So uh, that is how uh, that works. So very interesting. You have two uh, different versions of each of the pieces of art. Although one thing I will note, I immediately saw this, uh, is that the text there, let's try to focus in, it's uh, a little bit smaller. Not that's flavor text, so it's not you know the most important thing. Well, we'll get some other cards actually are um, you know more rules heavy uh, rather than this sort of plain creature here. But uh, that is rather small text, um, and I understand you know you want to have two full pieces of art there, and you want to have plenty of room for it because it's beautiful art. But uh, it is important to be able to see what the cards do. So uh, let's take a look at some of these. Uh, let's just find one that has art there. So uh, so this guy has more text here. The lightning strike. Um, so, yeah, okay, that, that, that's not bad. The flavor text here is very small, I will say, that's quite small, but the other uh, text, you know, the actual rules text doesn't seem to be too bad. Uh, so, Hungry Wolf, Gust of Wind, Gnomish Servant, Earth Shield, uh, lots of really cool different pixies and things in the art. It's all very gorgeous. Look at the other side there. Yeah. So, very excited. Um, I, of course, did do a preview of this game when it was originally on Kickstarter. So, very much looking forward to playing it in its final form. And a lot of these cards are obviously new to me as well. Or Necromancer. Canine Companion, very cool. Oh, so we have some Kickstarter extras here. Let's take a look at this. Uh, so thanks to the generous, thanks to the generous support of our Kickstarter backers, we were able to add this bonus villain and turn tracker to the game, as well as several component upgrades: the Travel Tuck Box, the Challenge Decks linked. Uh, to on page 21 of the rulebook. Thank you to everyone who helped make this happen, and we hope these make your adventures across Illidare, Illidale much more fun. Enjoy! Uh, so we have a turn tracker, as well as a, you know, nice player reference. 
tracker here. One side has the player turn, the other side has the, the villain turn, and then we have the training dummy and his health. So his ability here says uh, you may use any combination of cards to form the draw pile. So each villain generally has their own unique set of cards. For example, every time you're playing with Colin, you'll be always be using these cards in the pack here for half the deck, and the other, you know, half the deck uh, will be cards from your collection that you'll be able to then slot in to customize it. Uh, but the training dummy, you can use any card to build his deck. So after you've unlocked all the villains, you'd have access to all these cards, uh, plus whatever's in these. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yes, uh, then this, you should be able to put your deck in here to travel uh, with the game. Uh, the last thing I'm going to look at is going to be Colin's pack here. So don't want to spoil any of the other bosses there, but uh, we can take a look at this. Colin's villain pack here. Uh, we have some flavor text about Colin here, uh, which is neat. Uh, we have his actual car here uh, with some special abilities, uh, which I will say those are fairly small. Uh, it's fairly small text there. Um, Although it's not, not terrible, but uh, yeah, so some nice special abilities there, uh, some health tracker, of course, for him, and then his special cards that are always in his deck. So we have the, of course, iconic Forest Hill Troll, which is kind of the, the main icon of the game here. So the nice uh, top side with the little baby uh, Hill Troll, and then the nice uh, mean Hill tr Forest Troll on the other side. So uh, very cool. The Treant Shepherds. Uh, very cool there. The Reinforced Dam, which is, of course, a very fun card. I like the little beavers, and uh, the villain side here is quite annoying. Regeneration. The Poison Toad. Uh, this is actually really cool with the art here. Most of the cards here are two separate pictures. Yes, they're mirrored in some ways, but here, this is actually connected, where you see the tongue from the evil toad is actually reaching out to get the good toad. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the Gorilla Warfare. The Baited Trap. And, uh, yeah, so... Some little cards there. We're not going to look at, I um, don't want to look at too, uh, any of the other things here because uh, of course these are all going to be unlocked as you play, but uh, this should give you a taste of what it, what is in the game there. I've already done a playthrough of this game using the prototype. Uh, it will be linked up to the video there uh, if you want to check that out, uh, but of course I also planning on doing a playthrough with the final copy of the game, so hopefully uh, we'll do that soon, and uh, you can check that out, seeing what the game is like in its final form. Let's take a quick look at some of these card sleeves, just see the quality is like. Alright, so, uh, nice. So yeah, these are um, fairly thin sleeves, they're not, you know, the thickest, uh, but they you know, are definitely just a little bit of a step up from, like, penny sleeves. Um, they fit fairly snugly. Um, so... You know, they're not the highest quality sleeves I've ever seen. Definitely prefer, like, Game Genic or Dragon Shield, Shield sleeves, but these are, uh, seem to be pretty nice. We'll have to see how they, uh, hold up to wear and tear. But, uh, that is all for today. I uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so incredibly excited, uh, that the Kickstarter is finally being delivered, and very excited to use all of this, uh, so I'm very excited to, to play through and dive back into Deck of Wonders in its final form. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. And if you did enjoy it, I would ask you to please like the video and subscribe to Malstorm Gaming to see more content as I upload it. And hopefully we'll be able to play through this game together soon. So thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, happy gaming. Mm -hmm.